Shouldn't really uh, be using this. I'll never find out. I just like the thing about you've got a machine that's very physical and tactile and you get that thing about if I do this, I don't quite know what, what it'll do, but it might be good. I inherited it a bit from Martin Hanna, who um, was an amazing producer and he's, you know, you've learnt, learnt loads from him. Had the philosophy of using the studio as an instrument of kind of like you go in, into the studio and you see what it can, what it can do. You're not, not strictly just going in there just to record a song. There's a lot of new gear coming out. Personally, I felt very frustrated, and I think Martin felt frustrated because you could see so much potential, and you want, you know, you have the stuff that you wanted to do, and you knew that there was technology around to do it, um, but it wouldn't do it. So it throws it back on 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 you, really, to to squeeze every last bit. The stuff I've got in here. That I'm lucky if you know they use a tenth of what it can do. It's the the characteristics that it imposes on you are emotionally appealing. I think you hear music and it makes you feel some. You feel something. You can't say why it makes you feel like that. You can do a record in your bedroom on the computer won't be the best record in the world, but you can do it, and that's fantastic. You're writing songs on a spread spreadsheet, basically. There's no way of getting getting around that. You can carry on forever. You, you can never finish. You can do a record and never, ever finish it because you can just keep going and going and going and going. It's, it's paralysis by hyperactivity because you've got so many choices, so there's so many possibilities. You have to go through every one of those possibilities and then you become paralyzed because having gone through every one of those possibilities, you have to decide which is the best. And unfortunately, we're not very good at deciding. The great thing about in the Senate, and it sounds like an, an old man going on, but the music was really, Quite diverse. There was like there was there's a crowd and Giorgio Moroder, and there was a lot of innovation going on. But it was very very different, uh, sounded very different. Now the, the kind of it's all got very narrow, and like, you find yourself most of the time empathising more with the analog stuff. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's distortion. It's kind of it's, it's nicely wrong. <laughs> 